what's poppin everybody back with another video in this video we got elliot wilson from rap radar calling out drake for only doing interviews outside of the culture so drake hasn't done many hip-hop interviews lately and he popped out randomly and blessed a tiktok star by the name of bobby altoff with a full interview that's i guess the whole uh her whole spiel is she's like socially awkward and that's like the whole like comedic theme of all her podcast interviews so drake kind of plays off that back and forth in the interview it kind of caused the stir because drake's kind of been curving a lot of hip-hop podcast podcasters so apparently elliot saw the clip of drake doing an interview with bobby altoff and he jumped on twitter and said moment of clarity no disrespect to little boat but little yachty's convo with drake was comfy and had some cool moments i was more so clowning the comedy shenanigans with outsiders to our culture it would be great to hear Drake speak to us again, even if it ain't me. So you can pretty much expect Drake to address this in a song or freestyle soon sometime because I feel like that's kind of Drake's lane. He'll like strike back in a record. Probably won't call Elliot by name, but do like a subliminal. That's kind of what Drake's good at. He's always done that his whole career um, to leave people thinking, who's he talking about? But yeah, I don't see why Elliot would do this. He was one of the lucky ones, him, him and B-Dot from rap radar they actually got a two hour drake interview they're one of the few hip-hop podcasters media guys that they actually got a drake interview so i don't see where this energy is coming from i feel like this is a a valid message but i feel like it's coming from the wrong person i feel like elliot wilson should not have been the person to say this yeah it does because it's kind of painting a narrative like all drake is kind of used hip-hop to get to this mega star level and now that he doesn't need hip-hop anymore he's kind of just like curving all these podcasters and not doing interviews and then he'll he'll sit down with some tiktok star that's the narrative it sounds like elliot's running with i would like to see this type of uh comment come from maybe like nori from drink champs you know nori's been wanting a drake interview for the longest and then He's also wanted a, a Jay-Z interview for the longest. Hove, I feel like these are the only ones he hasn't tapped in with yet. Hove and Drake for a full two, three hour interview. Million dollars worth of game with Gillian Wallow. They haven't really got a chance to do a two hour sit down with Drake. So I can see them saying something like that. Or even the Breakfast Club. But it's just one of those things where like the one, <laughs> the one person that shouldn't have said anything was Elliot because he actually got a Drake interview. Now Drake probably won't ever mess with Rap Radar now because of this. And I just don't I just don't see what the purpose was of calling Drake out. Honestly, in my opinion, I feel like a lot of times, especially early on in Drake's career, a lot of these hip hop, not just podcasts, but just hip hop culture, I feel like didn't really embrace Drake. Like the people just saw him as like a soft rapper then some people didn't even see him as a rapper like if you really talk to some hip-hop peers they're not gonna and you say yo i've been listening to drake all day they're gonna look at you funny you know what i mean and drake knows that so i feel like drake feels like the real purest in the hip-hop culture a lot of them are pretending like they rock with him but they don't really rock with drake like that and, and i feel like drake knows that and that's why he's not rushing to do every little hip-hop podcast every little you know he's kind of like you know when the time is right and it's it's some people that he holds in high regard he'll do a podcast same thing with jay jay's not hoes not doing every podcast on youtube and just tapping in with every hip-hop podcast he's not doing that so i feel like drake is on the same level you know it's debatable if he's on the same level lyrically but definitely popularity wise i feel like drake and hove are in the same conversation so it's like why would he rush and do all these hip-hop interviews and they're going to ask him the same questions that and probably some questions ask him about push beef and just hash up old stuff that he doesn't want to even talk about so i feel like he's more comfortable sitting down just shooting the breeze with a uh, little yachty and kind of doing a quirky cringy interview with bobby altoff this tiktok star so i feel like that's the lane drake's in it's nothing wrong with it but I feel like what Elliot did was almost paint a narrative like Drake doesn't rock with hip hop culture or he may have vultured hip hop culture where it's like a Post Malone type of thing where it's like, OK, I made my money. Now I don't need y'all 
type of thing. And I don't think Drake wants that narrative floating around. So I was just like, this pretty bad look. If I'm B, if I'm B dot, I'm kind of calling Elliot like, yo, what was that? <laughs> like, like, what are you doing? We got a two hour interview with Drake. We're the only people that got a Drake two hour interview. Like, wh why are you jumping out the window like that? Like Drake's always showed Elliot and B dot love. And it's kind of like, yo, <laughs> It's hard enough to get a Drake interview. They got a Drake interview and then Elliot's like, yo, what are you, you know, I feel like they, Drake should be able to be himself, man. If he wants to do interviews with TikTok stars, it is what it is. Let, let that man do what he want, man. He, he did all you could do in the rap game, man. He's, he had one of the longest runs in hip hop and it's still going. So it's like, what more do you want? It's no reason for him to sit down and do every little hip-hop podcast to prove that he's what hip-hop he's been running every summer he's been running hip-hop every summer what summer what summer did his songs not chart what you know when, when have you seen drake not on a billboard look at check the spotify number it's not much it's not much he has to prove and it's not much to talk about as far as like hip-hop because he's he's done everything you could think of so i don't know what people want from drake at this point but uh i feel like elliot should kind of like tweet out a like apology or like clean it up a little bit because that was just wild that was kind of like uncalled for but that's just my opinion drop a comment let me know what you think and i'll see you on the next one i'm out